Like Hiram Remastered is actually confirmed now. I know there was a rumor going around about it, but it's actually confirmed. Here is the pictures. They posted pictures from the Xbox 360 version, and then they made an Xbox One version of the same thing, and they just compared them side to side. And also, they're adding mods to Skyrim for consoles. Cause I gotta say... Hey what's up guys it's Ryan and welcome to week number 50 of the top 5 Skyrim mods of the week. Now I'm doing something very special this week and I went through all 49 episodes that I have so far uploaded and I picked my top 50, my top 50 favorite mods out of all of the episodes that I've made so far. I picked 50 of them and I'm going to be showing you guys throughout the entire video my favorites and I'm going to be talking about each one. And it's going to be a great time, and we're going to have a lot of fun. And it's been a pleasure making these mod videos for you, and I can't wait to continue the series. Make sure to let me know that you really like this series by dropping a like and subscribing if you're new. It really helps me out a lot. And let's just jump straight into this Top 50 mod. So without further delay, I hope you enjoy the Top 50 Skyrim Mods of the Year. I would like to give a huge shout out to the people that made the Forgotten City mod. Now I've made about, I believe, 12 episodes of the Forgotten City mod playthrough and it's like an entire quest and it's an entire game in itself pretty much because it took me about four, three to four hours to complete the entire quest, which is a really, really long quest if you think about it in Skyrim time. That's a really long time and it took me a long time to figure things out and it has multiple endings so its replay value is incredible. Once again, a shout out to the people that made it and for those of you that are new to my channel or have not seen my playthrough of the forgotten city i'll leave the playlist link down in the description so you guys can go watch it it is an incredible mod and it will keep you entertained through the entire thing there's never a dull moment in the forgotten city so i strongly recommend getting this mod the next mod that we have is called the Dawn Guard Special Edition. Now, basically, what this does is everything in Dawn Guard, whether it's the armor that the people wear, or the clothes that they wear, or the swords that they use, everything is craftable in your uh, smithing station. Now, as you can see in White Run, I'm going through everything that you can craft. Every single thing from Dawn Guard is able to be crafted. So that. Dawnguard added a whole bunch of new armors and a whole bunch of new weapons to the game And I just feel like this is the best thing to do so you don't actually have to go out and you know search for the weapons at Dawnguard You can just you know you can grind for the materials and then actually just build them yourself Which I think is very incredible because before you weren't allowed to do this and I was kind of wondering why sometimes because you know, the Dawnguard armor is actually really nice looking, and I believe that you should be able to craft it, but then you're, whenever you go to a crafting station, it doesn't give you the option. But now you can, and you can build everything from Dawnguard, from the swords, to the armor, to, you know, anything. It's all craftable at the smithing station, so I strongly recommend getting this mod if you are a fan of the way that the Dawnguard armor and weapons look, and you want to use them for yourself without actually having to go into the Dawnguard itself. Now this next mod is pretty incredible. Take a look at this. It is the Cellblad Castle. I believe that's how you pronounce it. But uh, overall, just look at this mod. I'm about to walk inside here. You get to own your very own castle. Now this is all your house. You all own this. It's for free. And uh, you just download it and it's your house for free. You don't have to buy really anything. And you could just walk in and it's your own home. And you could do whatever you want with us. I'm not going to be able to give you guys a full tour as it is way too big. But uh, if you go into the stables, yeah, that's right. You have your own stables. You can summon mammoths that you can ride there's a teleport stand that'll tel teleport you anywhere in your house that you could possibly want to go and there are a lot of areas trust me there's plenty of areas to explore in this and you can spend hours on end just exploring your own house and uh, there is a place in your house that you can actually change attributes of yourself you can change your race your sex you know anything that you want to change as if you just started a new game and uh, you know I just feel like that is really useful and it also gives you a high abundance of gold whenever you walk into the castle as well just in case you know you want to just play through the game and pretty much be a god or something uh, you can totally do that and it's all at your disposal and there's also a huge armory for all weapons that you find through your journeys and uh, you'll never run out of room you have so many mannequins so many weapon racks so many display cases it's just it, way too much way too much of everything and uh, you could put 
you know as many weapons on your walls as you want and you can make it actually look really really nice and uh, we also have the mask stand as well as a treasury now the treasury is actually a really cool thing that I've never seen before uh, you walk up and you go into this little thing that's in the ground and you put gold in it to just store gold just like for your house and you store the gold and uh, it rewards you the more gold that you have the more statues will spawn and you can actually just pick up these statues and sell them straight off off, and it's just like a reward for you for getting enough gold to you know earn the reward and uh, as you put more gold in I will show you right here uh, more the more gold you put in the more gold you are going to see pile up on the ground so I thought that that was really cool that they implemented that and I really enjoy this mod so I strongly recommend downloading it and actually exploring the entire house for yourself as I can't show it in this video and to its extent because the video will be way too long so I'm just showing you the highlights and the good bits and pieces of it we have something that I've never seen before. It's called placeable statics. Now, I never knew that this would be possible, but actually what you can do is you have a power called select furniture and you use it on an object in your house. You can actually pick it up and place it in your inventory. And then you can move stuff around and rotate everything and you can customize your house to your liking. I'm just going to give you a little tutorial here. Now, all you have to do is walk up and use your power on a piece of furniture that you want to move. And then you press the pick up button and you can do it to anything as you can see I did it to the table and I can do it to a chair and then you go under your books I don't know why it appears under your books but it just does and then you go to the item that you picked up and you can drop it and it'll be like any other item that you can move around in the game you just hold the pick up button and you can just move it around to your liking now I'm gonna move this table right around here and uh, I'm gonna keep it there now I'm also gonna drop a chair and just make a nice little dinner table for myself and like I said you drop the item and then if you use the power on it again you can rotate it as you can see I'm gonna be doing that now you can rotate it a certain degree there's an XYZ axis and it's really easy to use and then once you're done and everything is to your liking you use the power on the chair or the table again and you could press fix object and the item will disappear for a sec and then it'll reappear and you won't be able to pick it up it'll be fixed and you can move it again if you use a power on it again but until you do that it'll be an ordinary object now as you can see here I made a little table and I put some bread and a flagon on it and now I can sit down and enjoy some dinner so it's a really cool mod and I strongly recommend downloading it. This next mod is a teleporting spell mod. Now basically all it does is uh, you can use the spell after you have a master and alteration and uh, it takes you to this little area that I'm in now and you can teleport almost anywhere in the map. I find this to be really useful just in case like you want to discover a location that you haven't discovered yet or something like that and you don't want to pay money to go to it and you don't want to you know spend time walking there. I find this to be very useful because you can teleport to any major area in the game. It's not just the major cities. I think in here I just show the major cities but it's not just the major cities. I later found out that you can select an option and it can allow you to teleport almost anywhere in the map. Now for an example, I'm just going to teleport to Whiterun and I'm going to show you what happens whenever you teleport here. Now this isn't the only spell that it comes with. It also comes with a spell named Shutter Step. Whenever you're in combat and you cast the Shutter Step spell on them, you will teleport behind them and you can get like a sneak attack again. And it's really useful actually. I found it really useful in battle. I'll show you a couple scenes of me fighting the White Run guards here. And uh, I found it to be really useful for just coming up behind your enemies and just taking them right out in a couple swings. Because swinging them in the hitting them in the back and getting sneak attacks again and again is is very damaging to your enemies and can actually kill them really fast. So I strongly recommend getting this mod. Now the next mod that we're going to be going over is called Clockwork. Now I have a series on my channel, as with every top 5 mod video, I always do the mod that I'm playing if I enjoy it. And every mod that I've played through so far on my channel actually it has been amazing. I've not had any bad mods so far. And Clockwork, it just blows my mind. I've been playing it constantly and it has a lot of playtime and a lot of mysterious little areas and has like a horror aspect as well as a good story. So as I always do, I will leave the link to the first episode of me playing Clockwork and you guys can watch watch it if you want to watch it through there or if you want to play it you can actually download the mod and you can play it for yourself because this mod is very awesome and I strongly recommend downloading it. The next mod we have here is a very simple mod. It's called the I Like Food Food Improvement mod. Now this mod basically all it does is it changes the attributes that food gives you when you eat it. it. It's food and wine and you know alcohol and stuff like that. The stuff that you consume now has different effects such as you know they have like potion effects now. Now if you eat them let's say you eat like I don't know what it is like uh, salmon meat or something. It gives you you know better at archery for 30 seconds or something like that. They're like potion effects. On on the food so now it makes food worth getting and worth making and worth eating now because before food had pretty much no 
you know meaning in the game and you didn't really have to have food on at any point in the game but now this will give you a little uh, boost and it it acts as potions like I said before with their attributes and what they give you whenever you eat them and uh, I just find it to be an overall good mod because I like when things that aren't really used in the vanilla game get put to good use with a mod and I would suggest downloading it for your playthroughs We have Inigo. Now, Inigo is a follower mod that adds a new follower to the game. Now, to get this follower, all you have to do is you have to go to the Rift in Jail and then open the cell door. I believe it's an Adept Lock, and then you can go and talk to him. Now, stuff that's included in this mod is 7,000 unique lines of dialogue. He has many other options that a normal follower wouldn't have, like any thoughts. If you've ever played Fallout 4, you can ask your follower your thoughts. So it has that option in this game. You can ask him your thoughts. You can change his battle tactics as if he wants to use a blade or a bow. You can choose which one you want him to use. You can choose his aggression. So if you're stealthy and you're crouching, he'll be crouching and he won't attack people just because you got seen. And you can even tell him not to attack anyone if if you don't want them to and you can do everything yourself and have him follow you and uh, you can also obviously have him carry your stuff for you and you can put on whatever you want you can give him your clothes and you can give him any type of armor that you want him to wear and I found him to be a really useful follower and he doesn't even fill up a follower slot you can actually have another follower I remember I had him and Fandle at the same time so you have two people at your side at once and uh, I find it to be a really good team you having another follower and then him or just him you know he's a really good fighter and I find it to be really useful when I'm fighting dragons and uh, clearing dungeons and stuff like that so I find this mod to be very useful and awesome to use so I strongly recommend downloading it the next mod we have here is called unique loot and uh, basically what this one does is it's a very subtle change but a very useful change as well now in caves and other areas that you loot and enemies that you kill they will now have random items now they're not random items that could be overpowered they're not too overpowered at all but uh, you know stuff that you search like urns and uh, burial urns and chests and stuff like that they will have more things in them and they won't just be empty all the time because let's face it there's a ton of empty urns in caves and just stuff like that there's also a new item in the game called ancient Nord coins but I'll get into what they do in a second but I would also like to say that salt is no longer hard to find for anyone that has been looking for salt for alchemy and uh, you know there's more food more crafting materials more alchemy ingredients more hearth fire supplies and just junk like that and uh, it actually makes hunting worthwhile I know I covered a mod that actually makes hunting worthwhile but uh, you can now find more pelts furs and tucks which are more expensive and you can now make a living off of being a hunter while doing that and uh, you know stuff like like I said the urns are worth looting now Hard to find loot is still pretty hard to find, but it's more rewarding to you and not just one item. It could be like two or three. And uh, they've actually changed the amount of weight that dragon scales and dragon bones and scrolls, how much they weigh. They actually weigh a lot less now, which is very good. And uh, now I can get into the coins. Now, basically what the coins do is whenever you pick them up in the urns or the chests or wherever you find the ancient Nord coins, you can go to a smelter, as you can see on there now, and uh, you can actually smelt them down into steel ingots, which I found was really cool because then you could pile them all together and you could just make a bunch of steel ingots and steel armor, or you could just sell them and uh, make a little bit of extra extra cash off that so it just makes like it makes caving and you know exploring the underground systems and uh, tombs and stuff like that it makes it way more worthwhile to do and I strongly recommend downloading this mod we have a awesome house mod it's called the grand bath house now basically it is straight north from Riften and it should already be discovered on your map so you don't really have to do anything look at this place there's waterfalls and you can actually control the waterfalls as I'll show you here in a second there's a door to go to the basement, but we're not going to focus on that right now. We're going to focus on the arena, which it comes with, and the water valves. As you can see, you can raise the water, and you can lower the water, or you could turn the waterfalls off if you wanted to, which I found to be a really cool aspect of you being able to customize what you want your house to look like. And there's also a button on the wall here. It makes all these spikes fall. And then this is the arena. Yes, your house comes with a full arena. There's a console where you can battle or you can spectate a battle. And basically, it gives you a difficulty, and you can choose whatever difficulty you want. I choose legendary here. And uh, you can basically just fight people. I was using a bit of a cheat spell just to kill them, but just just to get the point across that you can actually fight people and actually level up here and you can actually get random items as well from the people that you kill on the arena or if you're not really a big fighter you can spectate a battle and you can watch two people fight to the death 
and uh, basically that's what I'm doing right here. You can see two of these uh, creatures are shooting things at each other. And now we're going to take a trip down into the basement, which is one of my favorite parts of the entire house because it has pretty much everything. So I'm going to give you guys a tour and uh, I'm going to show you guys everything that is at your disposal with this house. So let's get started. Now this house also comes with a spell book that I found was really cool. Now if you use the teleport spell that comes with this house, you can teleport back into the basement of your house within seconds. And you can walk around and get whatever you want and once you step back onto the teleporter and press A or whatever console you're on, then it'll teleport you back to where you casted the spell location. So I found that to be extremely awesome if you wanted to just go put some things away while you're in a cave and then go straight back into the cave. I found that to be very useful. So I really like this house mod because the house is just beautiful and there's so much to do inside the house and I just feel like this mod is the greatest house mod that I've seen in a while so I would strongly recommend downloading it we have the complete smithing mod now this mod adds like 400 new items to the game to smith and create and uh, basically what you have to do is go to white run and then go into war maidens there's a strong box on his table and then all you have to do then is uh, take the scroll out and use it and you'll have these two perks here and uh, basically what the perks do is they allow you to create armor from the factions and uh, you know more armor that you wouldn't normally be able to create in the game so let's just jump straight over to the smithing station as you can see we have a whole bunch of new items here we have you know every single guard shield that there is which normally wasn't available in the game and we have the blacksmith somehow standing on my hammer that I'm hammering but uh you know let's not pay attention to that right now <laughs> uh, we have that we have like I said, the shields, there's a whole bunch of new shields in the game that you can craft. Along with, you know, the Forsworn armor, you can create all the Forsworn armor. And then there's more Imperial armor that you can create and use. So I found that to be really cool. And there's also, you know, Forsworn, uh, you know, weapons and bows and all kinds of different weapons that are in the game, but you just weren't ever able to create them using the Blacksmithing Station. Now, what I found to be really cool is you can actually create enchanted items like the Guildmaster's armor here. And and, you know all that stuff like the thieves guild stuff and it all comes with the same exact enchantments so i found that to be really cool and uh what else can you you can do all the dwarven stuff i believe that was already in the game before and if we scroll down there's all the elven stuff and uh, i believe it allows you to create almost anything right off the bat so you don't have to have a certain amount of you know smithing skill to create any of these items you can just jump right in you don't have to raise your smithing skill at all you can just you know jump right in with the mod use the scroll and you'll be able to create all these really awesome items so it's a pretty cool mod in general, you get to use a whole bunch of different new weapons and items, and I strongly recommend downloading the mod. The Forgotten Prince. Now, I normally, all the quest mods that I've played so far have been really good, so if you guys haven't seen The Forgotten Prince, my playthrough of it, I'll be sure to leave a link in the description, but I found this mod to be really good as, you know, it was made by students getting a game design degree, and they got a 94%, which is inc very impressive, because I found this mod to be very good. There were a few flaws here and there, but they're college students, you know? they it, There shouldn't be super, like, high expectations for, you know, beginning and college students you know getting a game design degree you know stuff like that you don't expect like super you know professional work but this was actually really really good and I really enjoyed it and they did a fantastic job with the entire mod so basically all it is is it's a quest mod that takes you through I believe it took me about two to three hours to complete it all and uh, there's a bunch of new areas that they add to the game and uh, you know there's a bunch of arenas as you can see I'm fighting in one right now there's new arenas, new quests, plenty of dialogue, 
Um, the thing that they didn't do, which was actually kind of funny, is uh, none of the characters' mouths move on the voice lines, which, you know, it's hard to do that, and you can see that, you know, if you're creating a mod, then that would be really hard to do. But uh, they left that part out, but everything else is pretty much perfect. I have no really complaints for the entire mod. I found it to be very enjoyable, and if you would like to see it, like I said, I will leave it in the description. So this quest mod was very fun, and I strongly recommend downloading it. The next mod we have here is called Recorder. Now it's actually a follower mod. It comes with a new girl named Recorder that comes with over 700 recorded voice lines. It comes with her very own quest. She gives you a bunch of summon spells for her and you can also summon a robot companion named Omnico, I believe that's how you pronounce it, for storage and fighting assistance. And uh, there's also commentary on major holds that she does and she also can taunt, which I've never seen any you know follower actually do. You know, there's Feindle who says, I'll see you in pieces, but that's not really anything to note she has some really good taunts that are like you know new and updated and uh, you know she can sing her very own songs too you can tell her to sing a bunch of new songs that you've never even heard throughout the Skyrim playthroughs and stuff like that she can sing her songs whenever you want and wherever you are and uh, you know it's just a really good mod overall I think it's one of the best follower mods I've ever done since Inigo and uh, you know I just, she's a really good fighter and she you know you can armor her up however you want you can dress her up however you want and she basically does all your commands so she's a really good follower mod and I strongly recommend downloading it we have the Cities of Skyrim Retexture Overhaul. Now, I found this one to be really, really awesome because it doesn't just retexture an entire city. It retextures five different cities and the interiors of the cities. Now, Dragon's Reach is completely changed. And uh, even the interior of Dragon's Reach and interior of most of the buildings are, have been changed. There are a bunch of new textures in the game. As you can see, it is an overhaul. so And everything looks way more beautiful. And this mod is definitely really cool. I'm just going to show you what it looks like in the other city. So we have White Run here. We have Solitude right here. I'm just going to pan around to show you guys the whole city. Now, they do look really, really awesome. And I think this mod is really cool. Now, moving on to the other side of Solitude. We have... You know, there's a bunch of areas like the walkways and stuff like that. The brick paths are way more in detail as long as the roofs and the other buildings and stuff like that. They look really perfect, and I really love these changes. Now we move over to Markarth. I think that this definitely changes up the stone pathways, and it makes it look at least a little better. Now we have Riften. Now I think Riften is one of the better looking cities in this mod. I think Whiterun and Riften are the ones that are done the most like well. And I think that they are designed the best. Because like look at the city. It's so colorful and you know there's no like grays or anything like that. It's not dark. It's very bright and colorful and it reminds me of Oblivion again. As you can see I always, I always come up with stuff that reminds me of Oblivion because Oblivion was such a great game. But this has a lot of bright colors. And uh, now moving on to Windhelm. You know Windhelm has always been kind of a dreary and dark city and this just makes it even more better because you know it, it really captures the darkness it makes it look like it is actually like you know snowing and it's super dark and you actually might need a torch to get around this city and I really like that so I strongly recommend downloading the mod mod called Divine Aegis HD. Now basically how this works is there is a new sword in the game that's really cool. It is very overpowered but it's very fun to use and I strongly recommend downloading it. The Sword of Divine Aegis. I believe that's how you pronounce it. And uh, you craft it. It's not that hard to craft but it's a really powerful sword and it's invisible and it has like a little flame effect to it and it's really cool and whenever you hit someone they pretty much just explode. It's a really cool weapon mod. You guys have really been requesting these mods and if you hit someone from behind they go flying as you can see right there so it's a really cool mod in general just a fun little weapon to have during your playthrough so i strongly recommend downloading it we have the Ring of Air Walking. Now, I've actually been looking for a mod like this for quite a while now. And uh, basically what you do is you come to this location here and there's a chest labeled, what is this doing here? And you open the chest and there's a Ring of Air Walking in it. Now, all you have to do is simply pick up the ring and then put it on and then you can walk straight through the air. It's like the no clip cheat from PC, but you can't walk through walls. And I know I'm definitely going to be using this for future videos, you know, because I can use a camera and a free camera, you know, and I can use the camera mod that I've made in a previous mod and I can actually use this to get better shots and higher up 
angles. Now you can actually climb to the throat of the world before even doing any of the main quests and you can actually get the notched pickaxe which is a hidden easter egg that is at the very very top of the highest point in Skyrim. So that's a pretty cool aspect that you can get at that early and uh, it's a really cool thing to try out and I strongly recommend downloading it. have the wearable lanterns mod now I found this mod to be very useful in caves and caverns and stuff like that in dungeons where you don't have to carry a torch anymore or a mage light spell you can simply just have a lantern on your side or on your front or even on your back there is a customization tool that you can use to customize where it is on you and how bright it is which I found to be really awesome and you can also turn it off whenever you're sneaking there's a bunch of options that you can do with this now basically how it works is you go under the apparel section and you can just put it straight on like it's another piece of armor and it'll light up as you can see I have it on the front of my character right now and there is actually a spell that you have that is called lantern toggle and there's also another spell called the option spell and you select the options and you can adjust the brightness the position you know all kinds of different stuff and whether it's on you when you're sneaking now as you can see now I have it on the back of my character and I like it the best whenever it's on the back of the character I think it looks the best and it definitely is very bright and it'll light up your cave so it's a really cool mod and I would recommend downloading it we have the become a bard mod now I was actually recommended this by a guy with the channel name of pranks for nothing so thank you for that for recommending me this mod because it is an awesome mod now what this mod does is it actually allows you to play an instrument doesn't matter what it is it could be the drum the flute the lute anything and you could play it there's a spell that you get in your inventory that you can select and you're just able to play the lute you can select from a bunch of different songs these songs are great I really like the songs they definitely took a long time to make it so now you can definitely go into the white run in and just say fuck Fuck you, Mikhail, and you can actually just play for yourself. Well, that's not bad, but I was thinking Mogo's need really gets a place in Now obviously that wasn't the entire song because it is a very long song and I didn't want to take up too much of you guys' time. So if you do want to hear every single song, make sure to download the mod for yourself. And each time you perform, your bard skill will increase. You actually get a new bard skill and you can actually get more money from performing in inns. And it's definitely a really great mod and I would really recommend downloading it because it's just, it adds way more things into the game and I just really enjoy that. Have the hunter's tree house now basically what this mod does is it just adds a new house into the game and you can climb up this ladder here and it's just by riverwood it's not that far away and it's already marked on your map so you can already travel to it it has a great view of white run and all the forest around it along with the mountains and as you can see if we turn the left there's the door and then over here on the right we have a tanning rack which actually took me a while to find i didn't know that was there and so that's a pretty cool aspect and you also have a really nice view so then we're going to travel inside and it's a very small shack that has an alchemy table a bed some chests a cooking pot you know anything that you're really gonna need in a house it doesn't have things like smelters and stuff like that because obviously that wouldn't fit in this house it also does have a weapon rack in some you know places that you could put things like little shelves and a bookshelf there and some you know more chests there so it is a really nice house for someone that just wants to store all their stuff in a compact area and it's a really cool mod in general and I strongly recommend downloading it we have a mod that brings back a lot of memories of Oblivion. Now, it's called the Oblivion HUD mod. Now, basically what it does is it changes the crosshair to a dot. It changes the health, the magicka, and the fatigue down in the bottom left corner like it was in Oblivion. And it also puts the compass at the bottom of the screen. So, I found this mod to be really cool because I really loved how it was set up in Oblivion. I wish, however, that this mod would change the journal. Like, whenever you press B or circle or whatever it is, or tab on PC, that it would actually bring up your journal like it did in Oblivion. That would be really cool but overall it just changes the HUD and it changes it to what it looked like in Oblivion so it's a really cool mod in general and I'd recommend downloading it sounds of Skyrim now this mod is probably one of the most customizable mods I've ever seen pretty much in my entire life uh, basically what the mod does is there are 16 areas of sound that it like you know it goes into and wait whenever you start up the game with the mod enabled it'll come up with a bunch of different options now with all these lists of things that you can choose whether you want them to be enabled it's like sounds of interior cities you know sounds of the jail sounds of farms sounds of the wilderness you know stuff like that and it just allows you to customize them and just enable exactly what you want. So take a listen at this. At the general goods store. There's a nip in the air. The cold won't be good for my crops. Never I is. don't suppose you're going to buy something this time? Just brown. There's also a wilderness one that you can enable, so listen to this.
This mod basically just brings more immersion into the game and allows you to feel like you're actually there and it just adds more sounds to the background. And it's a pretty cool mod in general and I'd recommend downloading it. Kato's White Run. Now you know me and my White Run overhaul mods, but this one really sticks out to me because it changes a lot of aspects in this White Run because you know there's a bunch of trees everywhere that no weren't normally there. They added a whole new tower there, a whole new gate entrance, and there's a whole bunch of new things that they add that most overhauls don't. As you can see, all these trees here. There's also some stalls, like new market stalls on the side, which I think are really cool. And if you combine this with the you know all a lot of citizens mod that adds a whole bunch of new citizens to the game I think this would make for a very awesome reskin and overhaul of white run because there'd be way more people and there's way more room for people now because this actually enlarges white run size just a little bit and it makes it a lot more open and it changes everything around white run to make it look way better and I think it really pulls it off and uh, they definitely did a really good job changing this so basically it just changes white run to look way better and it's a really cool mod in general and I'd really recommend downloading it we have the ultimate Skyrim music replacer. Now basically what this mod does is it's a new mod that adds and replaces music from Skyrim with many different songs and wonderful pieces of entertainment across the globe. All music is set to fit whatever atmosphere it is to be played in and whether it be spooky dungeons, gory battles, or even just exploring the wonders of Skyrim. Now basically there's a list of music that is on the website that I'm going to be reading to you guys. This is the, all the music that is in the mod. It's from Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings, Halo, Pirates of the Caribbean, Dishonored, The Walking Dead, uh, Batman the Arkham series there's medieval versions of popular songs and various classical pieces so it all just fits together very well and it's a wide variety of music so you'll never get bored of the music that plays in the background it also has the original Skyrim music so don't worry it's still all gonna be there and I'm just gonna give you guys a little bit of a listen I can't show you guys all the songs obviously because some of them could be copyrighted but I am gonna show you the one from Halo and let's give it a listen So it's basically a mod that changes up the music dramatically and adds a whole bunch of new tracks to the game to make you really enjoy the area that you're in and, you know, the music that you're listening to while playing Skyrim. So it's a really cool mod in general, and I'd really recommend downloading it. We have the Summer Mist Enchantments mod. Now basically, you guys are going to have to download this mod for yourself because it adds 104 new enchantments into the game that you can put on all your armor. I'm going to read them as quickly as I can and probably speed it up a little bit, and I'll also put some on screen, so here goes nothing. Alarm, Amplify Alteration, Amplify Conjuration, Amplify Destruction, Amplify Illusion, Amplify Restoration, Area Fortify Minions, Area Restore Health, Cartographer, Cheat Death, Death Shroud, Deep Breath, Defender, Fortify Mountain Combat, Fortify Potions, Fortify Power Attacks, Fortify Sneak Attacks, Fortify Speed, Fortify Total Armor, Fortify Weapon Enchants, Gladiator Glory, Eminent Victory, Increased Experience, Influence Calm, Influence Fear, Influence Fury, King of the Lost, Light, Magic Line, Magnet, Night Eye, Nova, Perception, Philosopher's Stone, Quake, Recharge Weapons, Shall I Shield, Siphon Health, Siphon Magic, Siphon Stamina, Soul Fusion, Soul Harvest, Spurs, Stability, Unbreakable, Windfall, Absorb Armor, Absorb Speed, Bale Fire, Battle Hunger, Beacon Bound, Berserking, Clumsy, Command Daedra, Counter Spell, Dim Vision, Discharge, Disease Damage, Drain Armor, Drain Damage, Drain Magic Resist, Drain Seals, Fire Damage, Lingering, Fire Hazard, Frost Damage, Piercing, Frost Hazard, Pulse Regeneration, Heal, Hidden Serpent, Illusionary Burden, Imprisonment, Insult, Karma, Kill Streak, Leak Stamina, Might, Momentum, Poison Damage, Poison Damage, Cumulative, Power Surge, Raider, Resonance, Rolling Thunder, Shifting Earth, Shock Damage, Wild Shock Hazard, Sky Hook, Sound, Steel Weapon, Stormbringer, Sun Damage, Threshold Death, Threshold Threshold Wall. And the rest can be found in the mod itself. So if you guys want to try out all those enchantments, be sure to download the mod. It's a very big mod and it'll definitely add tons of new playtime into the game. And I'd really recommend downloading it. Super Skyrim Bros. Now I know you guys probably knew that it was going to be this one because I've just been playing it non-stop and uploading it non-stop onto my channel. All 15 episodes are out of my playthrough. If you guys want to check out the playthrough, I'll leave a link in the description of episode 1. You can watch me play it or you can download it for yourself and play it. I strongly recommend getting this mod because it's a quest that will take you around 3.5 hours to complete if you go and you try to collect all the coins and all the collectibles and stuff like that. There's so much to collect and there's so much to explore and there's so many enemies to kill that it's just it's a huge mod and there's a lot of levels to it I'm going to show you guys little clips from each level starting right now I'll just show you guys a few of the bosses and a few of the levels that I played during my playthrough and it's a really awesome mod I had a blast playing it it's, it goes down as one of my favorite quest mods of all time in Skyrim that I've played so far so if you like Super Mario and you like really long quest mods this mod is definitely for you and I would strongly recommend downloading it so that's pretty much it for part one of the top 50 Skyrim mods of the week. Part two will be coming out tomorrow, and if you guys are watching this after that time, there will be a 
link that appears on the outro of this that'll just lead you straight to part two so just stay tuned for that and watch till the end and it'll be able to pop up there and you can click on it and actually continue on to part two but uh i wanted to split it up into two parts because it would have made for like an hour and 10 minute video and i don't feel like anyone's just gonna sit through an hour and 10 minutes i feel like splitting it up into two parts would be a little bit more smarter and you know you could actually take your time to watch instead of watching it all in one sitting and hopefully you guys did enjoy these mods and if you do want me to cover more mods in the future like if you want me to do episode 51 or 52 and 53 and stuff like that and keep continuing the series be sure to let me know by leaving a like and subscribing if you're new it helps me out a lot and yeah that's pretty much it hopefully you guys did enjoy and i will talk to you guys later